It's another Liverpool against Chelsea Champions League clash and both bosses know what it takes to win the competition. Good afternoon. It is a case of history repeating itself again for two Premier League giants as they get ready to do battle in Europe once more. Manchester United have to get past the 2004 winners Porto if they're to make it to the semi-finals. Waiting for them in the last four could be Arsenal. They're up against some familiar faces in Villarreal. And all the reactions on the way for you right here. Yeah, all the team news, Premier League previews and sporting action on the way. But we'll start with the draw that's got everyone in football watching. Now we know the path that the teams will have to take to the Champions League final in Rome on May the 27th. This is how they came out of the hat in Neon an hour ago. Arsenal will face Villarreal, Robert Pires and Pascal Siga with the first leg over in Spain before a return at the Emirates. Manchester United faced the side that knocked them out in 2004. Porto went on to win it that year and the two sides will meet at Old Trafford before heading to the Dragao. Then it's the standout tie for English clubs. Once again, Liverpool face Chelsea. So much history between these two domestically. And now in Europe, the only quarter-final without a Premier League team sees Barcelona up against Bayern Munich in another epic clash. We also know the pattern for the semi-finals. The winners of Manchester United against Porto will face Arsenal or Villarreal over two legs for a place in the final. Could Wenger and Ferguson go head-to-head -head on the European stage after so many famous domestic clashes? And the winner of the Barcelona against Bayern tie will face the victors of that latest Liverpool against Chelsea encounter. The bookmakers have revised their odds. Manchester United have shortened now to 2-1. to one. Barcelona, who were joint favourites with them at 5-2, to two, stay at that position. Chelsea and Liverpool inseparable in every way, 13-2. to two. Arsenal 7 to 1, Bayern Munich 12 to 1, Villarreal 25 to 1, and the outsiders Porto have drifted to 50 to 1. Let's get various reaction. First of all, the reaction for Chelsea, who of course are playing Liverpool. We played them at group stage, we played them at semi final stage. There's not much really that we need to know about in Liverpool that we don't already know. You know we probably know the inside leg measurements of Rafa's um, trousers, you know, to that extent. When you beat them in the semi-final last year, the second leg was at home. This time in the quarter-final, that's the way it's come out. How much of a help might that prove to be in the final outcome? I think in theory it, it should help us being away first. You know, we were successful last year in the semi-final, whereas previously in the previous semi-finals we were at Anfield for the second leg. And it looks like on all three occasions in the semis, the, the team that's away first has got through. So Liverpool and Chelsea, familiar foes in the Champions League. They've played each other eight times already and there's precious little to separate the sides with both winning twice, four draws. Traditionally, these encounters have been low-scoring affairs with only ten goals in the eight games. I said all along, I think Liverpool over the two legs can do anything. It's just incredible that it should be Chelsea again. <laughs> After the amount of times that we've played each other, we know them. Chelsea are just coming into a bit of form. Um, and I just, if ideally, I would have liked it Liverpool away uh, leg first. I just think it's a it's an incredible draw, and I've got Liverpool versus Porto in the final. I think uh, it's a hard draw, but brilliant because uh, in the in the league they have uh, done Chelsea, and I think Chelsea now uh, are on the way up, and I think they are looking at at this. Uh, at this game of, of putting a few things right. Let's go speak to uh, Vinny O'Connor, who's at uh, Anfield. What's the reaction been around the stadium there, Vinny? Well, it's the 23rd time in five seasons that these two will meet in all competitions, and uh, naturally there's been a, a big reaction around Liverpool today. When you look at Benitez's record against Chelsea, he saw off Jose Mourinho in the Champions League, didn't he? Avram Grant got the better of him last season. He saw off Phil Scolari in the league this season. Now he's got Goose Hiddink to contend with. It wasn't uh, only a few days ago that Johan Cruyff was saying that everybody wants to avoid Liverpool in this draw and Liverpool fans are loving that kind of reputation, if you like, and that's why I suppose that we found Liverpool fans in confident mood this morning. It's meant to be, I suppose, you know, that we just like beating them. <laughs> we got to do. We got to get revenge for last year, I think. I'm looking forward to be home for the second leg, you know. But uh, what can you do? We say like, it could be worse. It could have got United. Like I wouldn't, look, wouldn't like them now away for the second leg. But what can you do? We're fine. It'd be nice to get someone like Villarreal or Porto, but um, I don't think it'd be an issue for them. We've got loads of confidence after what we did to Madrid. I don't think there's an issue with who we get really. I'm confident we'll get to the final. 
And almost more importantly, Vinny, the fact that it won't be played on the anniversary of Hillsborough. How's that gone down? Well, that's gone down massively. I think there's a big sense of relief about the city. Everyone knows just how important that date is to Liverpool Football Club. Everyone who was involved at, uh, in Hillsborough at the time, uh, the fans, the relatives and what have you, the players involved on that day as well. And everyone will want to be here at Anfield to pay their respects to all the victims of, of that tragedy on April the 15th. And rightly so, UEFA have made that step and, and taken the decision that the game won't be played on that date. And uh, and as I say, everyone is so relieved that that is going to be the case. And on the 20th anniversary of Hillsborough, everyone will be able to pay their respects in the proper fashion. Thanks, Finney. We'll get reaction from all around the country this afternoon. So it's Liverpool against Chelsea for the fifth season in a row in the Champions League. Let's hear from Rick Parry, who's the outgoing chief executive of Liverpool.